Good afternoon, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and today I'm going to take you for a walk around a fine example of a 2013 Nissan Navara ST dual cab utility. Starting at the front of the car, as you can see, finished in beautiful arctic white. Um, all of the chrome running through the front grille just makes it look that muscly, tough car that it is. Driving lights uh, just down in the bottom of the front bumper bar. You look at the uh, look at the Juco, you know, really good order. A couple of really minor little uh, minor little stone chips if you want to be really particular. And as we come around to the driver's side, you notice fitted with really good quality tyres, Goodyear Wranglers, plenty of tread, factory alloy wheels. Just uh, set it off, make it look really good. Side steps as standard on the ST Ute. Our indicators are in our exterior mirrors. We do have our uh, weather shields on the car as well, so previous owners spent a bit of extra money. And as we come down towards the rear of the car, I didn't mention the alloy wheels, unmarked in really good order, fitted with an aftermarket canopy, which we'll go into a little bit more detail uh, a little bit later in the video. As we come around towards the rear of the car, the quality continues. Just uh, you look at the consistency in the paintwork, the overall condition, rear bar has the step on it, we do have factory tow bar as well, so genuine Nissan tow bar. Uh, also is fitted with reverse camera. Aftermarket little job there, I think. I like the little touch of silicon. Um, but uh, mounted there, we'll, we'll go into that a bit further later as well. Notice the tailgate, the rear steps, fairly well unscuffed, so in really good order. I don't know that this truck's done a lot of work, actually. And uh, as we come around the passenger side, it continues. The quality of the motor car, yeah, spot on. Alloys once again, no marks on the alloys. Having a really close look at the uh, Juco in really good order as well. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, the exterior of this car, I know it's only a 2013, but it's still a workhorse. And uh, the way it presents is, is really good, a really good example. So, let's talk about the drivetrain in the uh, Navara now. Let's have a good look at this, and uh, I don't know why they put the bonnet rods all the way over there on the left-hand side. Make me stretch a little bit. So, uh, a lot to like about this car. Two and a half litre turbo diesel motor is gonna give you 106 kilowatts, uh, but plenty of torque, 350 newton metres of torque. At the same time, deliver you really good economy. 9.9 .9 litres per 100 k's. Uh, 80 litre fuel tank, so in excess of 800 k's to a tank of diesel, this truck's going to get you. So uh, a lot to like about what it's going to do for you. It's a, it's, a, it's a workhorse, that's what it's all about. Okay, so we're around at the tailgate now and uh, a lot of things I want to have a chat to you about here. So open up the, uh, open up the rear window of the canopy now. You might think, what are these guys doing? They're really messy, but there's a reason I've left everything in the back of this uh, tub. So open up the tailgate. A lovely beard table finish to the inside of the tailgate. We just need a couple of cues and some billiard balls, really. It looks like a pool table. The reason I've left all these goodies in the car is just to show you how much money the previous owner spent. So we've got the genuine Rhino rack crossbars for the roof racks genuine Navara mats, which obviously we'll put in the car at some stage, and also an upmarket um, head unit that's also been put into the interior, which we're going to have a, an extensive look at shortly. All of our tie-downs tie running along the bottom of the canopy. Really important to note, full lock-up canopy. We've got all the keys, two factory keys, all our lock-up keys for the canopy. Good thing is, as with most people that want a versatile, um, canopy you've got the fold up windows on both sides and the rear so for the tradie the ease of access spot on um, the hinged windows are so much better you look at the access it gives me I could probably climb into it through this window um, so you know being a tradie gives you really good access to the inside inside of it load all your tools in as you can see you look inside the tub itself hasn't done hardly any work this car no uh, you know no negative representation to the previous owner but uh, well looked after hasn't seen a lot of hard work 
So just in finishing at the canopy section, our, our cameraman's having a few technical issues this afternoon, but that's okay. Um, just slam that closed, they're all lock up. We just lift the flaps on these, lockable by the keys, everything inside secure. So here we are inside the, uh, the uh, workhorse, the Nissan Navara ST Ute. Uh, and you know what, super comfortable interior to sit in, really comfortable driver's seat. On our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches, uh, really good comfy armrest, you know, set up. Not only is it uh, a real good tradies ute, but uh, you get the comfort after a hard day's work, jump in the truck and you're good to go. Down below our air conditioning vent, we've got uh, headlight adjusters. Uh, we've got our button for our uh, driving lights. We've got our exterior mirror controls as well. Uh, our steering wheel, leather wrapped steering wheel has our cruise control settings on the right hand side, our Bluetooth and audio settings on our left hand side. Steering wheel is height adjustable. Um, just pull on the lever at the base of the steering column. Whilst you're holding it in, set yourself up in, in a comfy spot, let it go, lock it into place. Now, moving into the center console section, uh, is fitted with an aftermarket unit. So we've got a lot to like about this unit. As you can see, we've got our radio, AM, FM, satellite navigation, Bluetooth, TV, even it wasn't giving me a signal before, CD player as well. Also with our Bluetooth, I did pair up earlier, so it's actually paired up to my phone. So just a matter of playing music off my phone. So as you can see, um, volume control there, just turn it up on the phone as well. Unlock it first maybe, I hope nobody sees that passcode lock just in case, um, and uh, the clarity of the music that plays through it, if we can get to, get to a song, and don't blame me, I didn't put this music on my phone, my teenage girls did, but as you can hear, really good clarity through the aftermarket sound system, just going back to the source, just hit on navigation, brings up a really clear map, gives you all the detailed info about where we are, Berwick. Kangan Drive, Berwick, Berwick Mitsubishi. Um, down below, obviously, uh, dual zone climate control aircon. We've got that running at the moment and uh, just adjust our temperature in both zones and uh, it just fires away automatically for us. We'll turn that music off now. Little storage compartment below that. Manual lock and unlock button for our doors. This is our control for our electric brakes. Uh, our T-bar drive it as a normal auto or flick it across into sports mode, manually shift through the gears. Probably if you've got, you've got a good sized tow on the back, a fully laden trailer or something, really useful function to have. Just flick back to reverse now and then bang, have a look, have a look at that reverse camera. You're not going to get that in most factory reverse cameras, that is just beautiful clarity. Overcast, getting later in the afternoon but have a look at that behind us. Great safety when we're reversing. Pop it back into park. Cup holders, little coin tray there. Handbrake to our right hand side. When it's disengaged, it's right out of our way. Really large console area. Couple of 12 volt outlets in there as well. Um, oh, I like this little addition. Look at that little pen holder there too. Oh, missing pen. We might have to replace that with the Mitsubishi one. No, nah, we'll leave it. All right, then we look around the interior now. We've got our big grab handles on our uh, both sides of the front doors. Just uh, haul yourself up into the truck after a long day at work labouring. Not like that'd be me, but anyway. Um, then we go to the service books. Now, really important to note, 42,000 k's this car, it's done nothing. Uh, the good thing is the servicing so far in its life, really well serviced. Local company of service that locally owned as well, actually not very far from us. So all the service is done locally and of course servicing's current on the car. So a lot to like about this car, I mean you look at the exterior earlier, everything it's got to offer inside, the condition of it inside, um, yeah nice truck. So in summary, cracker example of a 2013 ST Nissan Ute, a little bit challenged there for a minute. Uh, weather shields, all the goodies as we mentioned earlier, the factory mats, the, uh, the crossbars for our roof racks, two-ton towing, factory tow bar, 
super low case, 41,000 case. Forgot to mention it, but still under new car warranty till 2016. Um, one of the better examples you'll see. So feel free to give us a call on 9907 555. Nice truck.